Whoa! Okay, my name is Carlotta and I'm 58 years old and I'm a Spanish interpreter. Gotcha. And uh, why are you here today? Tell us why you're here. Well, I was in a car accident. I was um, uh, rear-ended um, and I was pushed in front of a car, of another car. Hit really hard. It was, yeah, it was uh, really... Yeah. She couldn't take her car home. She had to take the bus home, I think, or something. You said, right. right? Something I like had yeah. to take my I just remember the that bus, right now. yes. Gotcha. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, where is your pain? Where Where is your pain? Well, my pain is in my neck, um, especially my neck and my back, mid-back and low back. How has life changed since the accident? How has is 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 things gotten worse? It's like hard to sleep, hard to work, any change in things that well, were normal before? Definitely things have gotten worse because I'm having... Um, nightmares i mean i i remember the accident i have oh wow okay back flashes mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and i um i have a it's a horrible experience isn't it because you're not in control of anything right it's yeah. it's pretty bad yeah. yeah exactly now tell us the history of this fibromyalgia we uh, this is an interesting story how you found out about you had it well, I started having a lot of pain in my entire body, and I this was 25 years ago. 25 years ago, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I went to see a chiropractor, and he said, "You have fibromyalgia," and I didn't know anything about fibromyalgia. I didn't even know that term existed. Exactly. So I started mm, doing research, and I. Um, Do you think you have it with the research? Definitely, I yeah. think I have it. And have you been treated for it over the years? Have you been medicine? Have you gone to other doctors for that? Well, I haven't seen doctors because uh, uh, it's uh, doctors uh, always tell me that they cannot treat it. <laughs> so I'm always looking for other. I'm always exploring and Fair looking for other ways of treating. Gotcha. And how about how about the uh, IBS? Well, IBS has been a very, um, it's been very difficult for me to deal with this condition because I follow a very strict diet and I... Tell us a tiny bit about your diet, just a tiny bit. Well, I... What do you stay, do, gluten-free? You do I'm gluten -free, keto or what do you do kind of I'm stuff? I'm gluten-free and I don't eat desserts or pastries, Things that I love to eat, I have to um, stop eating them yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. it causes. So it's me. changed your life. This idea has it changed your life. Definitely has changed my life. The anxiety and depression. How long has that been going on? Uh, probably twenty years. Uh, yeah, it all goes from life. Tell us about your sleep. Well, uh, I um, s started um, having difficulty sleeping. I couldn't. Um, I wake up at nights and. Uh, it's it's it. I was diagnosed with s sleep apnea. Or sleep something? apnea. Yeah. Do you wear a CPAP at all? Uh, I don't wear the sleep app. I should. I it was recommended, but I think yeah. that I don't want to do it. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, she also has some left sciatica pain down her legs. She has this radical pain behind her knees. Right. And so, uh, can you can you tell them what you like to do on the side to exercise? This is a good one. <laughs> yes. Well, we're gonna get some video on here for you I'm two guys. I'm a pole dancer, <laughs> and I I started with the four inch heels, by the way. Yes, with yes, uh, six inches six inch heels. heels, and because uh, you got to do it right. Yes, it's about love exactly. of the craft. You got it's love of the craft. I mean, you, but anyways, a year yeah. ago she mm -hmm. hurt her knee doing it. Cause, I hurt her knee. You know that ring, that hook, the hook, the, the hook, hook on the pole. <laughs> <laughs> Cooking the pole, I got that. Uh, I, I heard my. We all like her a little bit better now, don't we? Yes. You know, she's yes, a pole dancer. Exactly. Again, she doesn't do it professionally. This is for exercise. Just exercise. Exactly. Yes. Anyways, I'm not dissing all you pole dancers out there. So you guys leave your comments in the comment section too. Uh, I've been to about five chiropractors. Yes. Okay, acupuncture. How much acupuncture? Uh, never. I mean, never. Never tried that. Never tried. Any other alternative medicine stuff? Uh, I've taken, um, well, some medicine. Yes. Uh, I've taken some. Um, uh, I've taken tramadol, and okay, I've so taken, drugs, yeah. I have taken any natural drugs? Yes. Any vi mm -hmm. You've done vitamins, all that crap, all your life too. Right? Yes. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> Change your diet. You know <laughs> right. she's tried. You can tell tried. she's a searcher. You can just tell by looking at her. She's a searcher and she's tried a lot of stuff. Right. And so I hope that she puts the time in to get better here because I know I could help her. Bend over, touch toes best you can. Tell us what you feel like. How much pain in your back, and where is the pain? Um. 
It's on the lower back. Right about here? Mm-hmm. On a scale of one to ten, what is it? It's probably a probably a five. Now I want you guys to see how flexible she is. She is bent over, she's touching the floor, go ahead and stand up. So it ain't about flexibility, and you're gonna tell me she's too fat. She's not fat at all. So it's not her weight that's causing her pain. So when you guys tell me exercise more, uh, flexibility more, or somebody's too fat. She should be the poster child for feeling good because she works out all the time, she's skinny, and she's flexible. So don't give me that crap. I, I debunk that crap all the time, and she's a poster child for, she should be perfect. Right? Because you do everything right. Right, that's right. And eats right, too. Back like this. Very frustrating. I bet it is. And if you see her face right now, which you can't see, she's almost crying because how much pain is this? It's probably a nine. A nine. Go ahead and look forward. Very painful for her. You can see her face. She's stressed about that. When she's leaning back, she's dying. Okay, so with your neck, look at the floor, please. No, 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 no I'm sorry. Your neck. Just your neck. Oh, your yes. Neck. Mm -hmm. No, look down, please. Look down. Oh, yeah. Sorry. How much pain there? Uh, probably at eight. Eight? Look at the ceiling, please. Eight. How about that one? Eight. And eight. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Spread your feet a little bit. Mm -hmm. And she's going to tell her about her knees. Her knees and... Look straight ahead. Look straight ahead. Mm -hmm. Her knees and her back. Tell us how much pain in both. Uh, my back's probably at eight. My knees are probably at ten. Gotcha. Stand up, please. And then, uh, and your headache right now. How much is your headache? Uh, Let's get one to ten. Yeah, three. Gotcha. Okay. You ready to get started? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. It's been tougher to get her in here. So we're going to, this is the first day. So let's see what she does. Carlotta here has some pretty bad x-rays. Uh, reverse curve in her neck. Really, really, really bad imbalance. Really easy to see, guys. Lots of arthritis in her body. Um, but again, the biggest thing, her atlas is worn out with that high reverse curve in her neck. Check those x-rays out, guys, and you'll see what's going on with all the point, the arrows, and my commentary. Okay, here we got Carlotta's x-rays. Three millimeter right imbalance and five degree curve. Here we have a 22 millimeter left imbalance and irritable bowel syndrome. Here we have three quarters atlas wear, reverse curve, and C5, C6 arthritis, pretty bad. Thoracic arthritis, pretty significant, and anterior listhesis of L4. So the most important thing with her is that we know she has fibromyalgia, so we're going to start off really slow with her. The last thing we want to do with somebody five miles is really push too hard, and so we're going to give her a little easy adjustment um, and let you guys watch. Okay, nice and easy peasy here. Okay, let me have your neck more. Uh... Whoa! So I guess you've never been to a chiropractor like this before. No. Is that too much for you? No, I think it's fine. <laughs> you left out a you let out a squeak like I've never heard before. That was a squeak. You okay? Yeah. I'm okay. How painful was that though? Let everybody know. Was that really painful or more scary? Painful. Ten. Painful. I got ten. Got ten out of ten. Okay. How is it now? Oh, it's better. Gotcha. Okay, we got one more side to do. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna promise you this though, with that kind of reaction, I'm telling you, you're gonna feel a ton better after I'm done. Let's go again, nice and easy, guys. Painful again, right? Very painful. Yeah. Yeah, you really, really, really needed this. Okay. Okay, just helping her up here, reminding her not to twist and turn or she will undo my work. Uh, look this way, uh, get set. I'm going to bring the chair over here so I can sit down and ask her what's going on. Let's just listen in and see how she's doing. Um, Pretty radical adjustment. I can't wait to hear how she does. Much more relaxed. Already? Mm -hmm. You feel a difference there? Yeah. Anything else? Um, you don't have to tell me. I'm just kind of curious if there's anything. Uh, less pain. A little less pain? Le little in less the neck pain. or the in neck the or just generally? In the neck and the back. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So I'm sorry it hurt, but you can already see there's a benefit from it. Yes. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. As all of you know, we're sending her down the hall to recalibrate. Very important here, guys. This is not a nothing little thing. This needs to be done. Let's see how she's doing. I feel I'm walking much better. I don't feel... How do you feel her walking better? I don't feel that stiff. I was feeling very stiff and a lot of pain on my neck. Mm -hmm. I feel less stiff on my neck and back and uh, I can... Uh, I can... I feel I can walk with less uh, uh, stiffness and less pain. Uh, can, I, I don't know if you can feel this. Can you feel any different in your posture at all? Because yes. I can see it right now. Yes. I can see it. Definitely. Well, I noticed that. I want to see what you say because I already see what I see. I noticed that I, I'm walking more straight uh, than, I used, than I used to walk. Um, I'm not... Uh, my shoulders, I feel they're 
uh, have a better posture now. Without me even telling you thing, right? Just right. natural after the Natural, adjustment. yes, I noticed that. Do you feel taller? I do. Yeah, you I look taller. I feel taller. I don't know if you guys can notice this, but she looks way better. Yes, I just... And if you look at her face, I, her tone of her face looks like she's not as yes, angry. Right. <laughs> she looks angry. more... Her, 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 her wrinkles are less. How about ah, that? <laughs> yes, right, that's true. Yes. But you look different. Your eyeballs are even different. You like Your vision is even looking a little yes. different. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. So let's see how you do with those tests. Go ahead and then touch toes now. Mm -hmm. That was a five or six a minute ago. Yeah, three. Got you stand up? Yeah. So a little less, right? Yeah, a little less. Now yes. this one was the painful one. That she every time. Go ahead and lean back. Uh, yeah, probably a five. And that was a nine a minute yes. ago. And uh -huh. you were crying about it. What? Uh-huh. Okay, look straight ahead. Okay. Now your neck, look at the floor, please. Uh -huh. That one is uh, probably a seven. Gotcha. So that's still a bit up there. Uh -huh. Look at the ceiling, please. I think that's just because of the adjustment. That one is really good. That one is probably a uh, Four. A four? So good, yeah. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Now let's spread your feet. Okay. Now you're getting blown away this one. I haven't touched your knees at all. Have I touched anything in your lower body? Nothing. Nothing. Just what? What have I touched? Just uh, just in my neck. Okay. Now squat, please. I feel so good. Oh my God. <laughs> I feel so good. From a 10 to probably a four, I, I can bend my knees. How about your knees? Isn't that great? Yes. Do it again. Hey. Yeah. God, I, I, is that crazy? Crazy, yes. And I didn't touch anything below your neck, right? Wow. I thought I had to have treatment for my knees. It really is an imbalance in your body. Mm-hmm. That's true. Now, lastly, we didn't really do a test on this one, but how's your headache? It was a three minute ago. Oh, I don't feel any headaches. So we got rid of your headache, right? Yes, already. definitely. Gotcha. Okay. So uh, why don't you tell them the truth about this treatment. Is it too scary to do? Is it something you think you can do more of? Is the results worth the... This is not scary at all. I feel uh, that it's just uh, like a magical thing. It just, from all this pain and all this stiffness to like being, being able to uh, feel my body less uh, tension and less pain. Like that? In, yeah, instantly. It's just especially my knees that I couldn't bend For it. over a year, the knees. The knees are in bad shape for over a year. Yeah, probably more. More? Mm -hmm. yeah. Probably two years. Then. Pretty cool? Oh my God, that's amazing. It's amazing. You need fist bump, fist bump now. Yes, it's amazing. <laughs> Thank you.